This video will show you a quick overview of how to add students to Voces Digital. Um, this will be any manual method. If you are using an LMS like Google Classroom, uh, Canvas, or Schoology, you'll want to skip to the LMS module and link your LMS and add your students that way. There are three ways to add your students without using one of those programs. The first that I'll talk about is self-registration. Self-registration is going to allow you to create classes and then have your students join those classes. So we'll start by clicking on the teacher's panel, that yellow head in front of the globe, then the account settings icon. It's this gear icon here. Once there, we'll find the student self-registration option and we'll go ahead and make sure that says enabled. We'll also find the link here that we would send students to once we've created our classes. One thing that you'll want to note is after your students have all registered, you'll want to go back into account settings and disable self-registration again. For now, we'll leave it enabled and we'll close out of account settings. The next step for self-registration will be to create our classes. So we'll open up the teachers panel again. And now we'll click on the desk icon for class and student management. This is also where we would add students with a spreadsheet or manually. Once we're on our class and student management screen, we'll want to add the classes that students will join. You can see I have mine organized by second hour, third hour, fourth hour, but you can name these classes anything you'd like, however you want to organize your students. You'll click new class, and then title your class. Again, this step is required for self-registration, CSV upload, or manual add. I'm gonna call this class first hour and click create. Next, if I'm using self-registration, I'll send the students to the link we collected from account settings and let them know which class to join, which Voces title they're choosing, as well as the teacher's class ID. If I'm adding students with a CSV or manually, my next step would be to click on the class name and then click Add or View Students. From here, I can click Quick Add, which will let me type in a student's name. So I could just type here Jane Doe. I can assign that student a user ID if I would like to. If I leave that blank, the system will assign one for me. I'll go ahead and click Add Student. And now that student is added to that class. The other option we have here is the CSV ad. A CSV is really just a spreadsheet or text file that's formatted um, with a .csv as the file extension. Um, we do have a, an example or a template that can be downloaded here if you do need help getting started, but essentially you'll just want um, a spreadsheet with three columns, first name, last name, and user ID. You don't need to include the user ID if you leave it blank. The system will create one for you. From here, we'll just go ahead and choose our file. So we'll choose our spreadsheet, just like uploading a document, um, you know, to Google Classroom or, you know, anywhere else. Um, and then you would go ahead and check this box if you do have column names across the top. So if the first row says first name, last name, etc., cetera, um, then you'll want to check that box. You'll also just want to make sure these numbers match the order of your spreadsheet. So if your last name is in the first column, then you would go ahead and change this, uh, you know, in the opposite, the opposite numbers. So just making sure that those match. Once you have that done, you'll click on step three. That is going to allow you to preview what will be added. So you can see that um, I have students, my first name, last name, user ID. If you've left user ID blank, it will show blank here as well. That's okay, it's going to add it and I'll show you where to get those IDs in just a moment. If everything looks right here, we'll go ahead and click finalize. We'll see that those five students were successfully added and refreshing that student list shows me those students added. Now, whether we've added the students through self-registration, a manual ad, or a CSV, we may need to find their logins or give them their logins. We can do that by clicking either ID cards or ID email list. That will give you all of the logins for that entire class. Or if you just have one student who's forgotten, you can easily click on their name, then click edit to see their user ID. You can also move students around. So if I wanted to move them to a different class, I would just do that from that drop down there. 
Um, and you can see there's also some options here uh, for auto grading. You can find more information about these settings in the video titled Class and Student Management if you did want to dig a little bit deeper into those. These are all of the options for manually adding students to your account. We do have more detailed videos for each method. And as always, you can feel free to contact us by phone or by email at info at